The CMT Awards are coming up next week, and we are your one-stop shop for all things leading up to the country night. Big music, big night in music, I should say. Nicole Nielsen staying on top of all the nominees, including a North Texan. Tonight, meet the man they're calling the country Elvis. His name is Drake Milligan. <laughs> in the outskirts of Bansfield, Texas. You would have recognized Drake Milligan anywhere. He was always a showman, always. That's because his parents, Jim and Angela, say he was always dressed up as Tiny Elvis. Drawing whiskers on himself and, you know, and he had the cheap Elvis suits and then it just, he graduated and Angela and him went all across the country doing Elvis shows. I dream of making music like that someday. Oh, and he played the part all right. So well, in fact. It all changed when he was a senior in high school. He got his first big break playing the king of rock and roll in CMT's TV series, Sun Records. Soon after, Drake took on a new role. Hey, baby, would you look at us? Recording artist. Under this front porch light. Following brief stints on two different reality competition shows, Drake moved from North Texas to Nashville, writing country music so good that he's now celebrating his first CMT Music Award nomination. Staying too long at the honky tonk, spending too much just to tie one on. His song, Sounds Like Something I Do, is up for Breakthrough Male Video of the Year. CMT really put him on the map. It's a far cry from where he began, performing his first show at about 11 years old at the Far Best Theater in Mansfield. But his parents say, though he may be a rising star, he's still the same old Drake. What we're most proud of is he's still Drake. He's a good, humble young man. In Mansfield, Nicole Nielsen, CBS News, Texas. Nicole Nielsen and I will be boot scooting south to Austin next week, capturing all the fun and excitement leading up to the big awards show, which happens April 2nd. You can watch it right here on CBS News Texas.